much began in perfect fashion for Argyle fans, with their first win at St James's Park for 66 years. A bright start saw both sides have chances, before Mark Cooper deftly gave Exeter the lead on the half-hour mark. Peter Shilton's half-time pep talk worked wonders, with Mark Patterson's shot taking a deflection past Peter Fox to put Argyle level after 48 minutes. Plymouth were well on top by now and in no mood to settle for a draw. It's Nugent laying it off for Evans. Daniels coming back with a challenge. Evans evades it. Oh, in a good position to get a cross in. Comes for Burnett. And that's number two for Argyle. And that really owing much to the persistence of Mickey Evans. Got round Daniels. Good low cross in. Exeter getting it half away, but it fell for Burnett, who placed it past Fox into the corner of the net. This is Nugent, getting the cross in towards Evans, and that's 3-1. Kevin Nugent doing the spade work, good low cross. Mickey Evans planting it into the roof of the net from, what, two yards out. 3-1. Exeter refused to accept defeat, and they reduced their arrears eight minutes from time, after a patient build-up. Chance to get the cross in towards Turner on that far post. Kuta, Arakola, and David Arakola. Well, they call him Pepsi. I wonder if he's put some fizz back into Exeter City tonight. But the goal couldn't deny Argyle, and Peter Shilton knows how important the victory was for the club. It meant so much to the supporters on the night that it did give everybody a bit of a boost and a bit of a lift. Um, but if we hadn't have beaten them, then I would have been very disappointed.